Welcome to Sober Barkeep. I'm Brian Anderson coming to you from Anderson's Guitar Bar here in lovely League City, Texas. Today we're going to take a look at Ritual Zero Proof Tequila Alternative. I've used this in a couple episodes, but I've never done an episode where we really just talk about uh, the Ritual product. Um, Ritual's been around for a little while. Uh, they make uh, a couple different alternatives. They make whiskey, they make gin, and they make tequila. Um, this is one that I'll tell you straight off the bat. I keep this in my bar, and I've gone through quite a few bottles of this already. And it's a very interesting product. Um, it, it tells you right, on the, right off the bat this is meant to be drinking cocktails. And you'll see why when you, when you taste this thing straight out of the bottle. Now, again, this is one of those that if you're looking for a tequila you want to go sip on, either neat or on the rocks, um, I'm afraid this is not what you're looking for. Now, there are other ones out there that are a little more attuned to that, as we've seen in some of the episodes that we've had. Um, and I came across uh, a mix just recently that I'm, I think I'm going to do an episode on here pretty soon uh, that talks about something that's very close to something you can drink neat. This one, when you take a look and you pour uh, Ritual, it's got a nice little light uh, color to it. Um, it's not like a white tequila, uh, although uh, that's kind of what I use it. Um, but uh, it's got, got a slight straw color to it. When you smell it, it's, uh, it's pretty close to tequila. I mean, it's got a decent smell to it uh, that, that, that gives you uh, a reminiscent of a, of a tequila smell. But when you taste it, straight out of the bottom, first off, you get an attack of, of heat. And I mean, a big attack of heat. That's what you taste right off the bat. It's almost, it's almost overbearing and almost way over the top. Uh, now this plays very well into what we're gonna do with this here in a minute. Um, but just straight out of the bottle, neat or on the rocks, I, this is not something, but again, Ritual's very clear about that. That's not how they intend for this product to be used, uh, which is great. I love that they put that in there because if you come in this thing and you just drink it straight out of there and put it on the rocks, you're going to go, oh, um, or most people will. I, I just, it's not, not good, but <laughs> I used a lot of this because I love it in a margarita. So let's do a margarita. So let's, uh, let's grab some ice here in our glass. We are going to, uh, we're going to take a couple of shots. I've got a little ice in here already. Uh, shot glass. Uh, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do two shots. So this will be three ounces of the Ritual Tequila Alternative. I'm gonna add a shot of uh, Liars Triple Sec because this is a great. This is a great mix um, for margaritas in my mind. Uh, if you're looking for more of the premium margarita, uh, you, you use something a little different, but if you're looking for just a standard margarita, something that you can get at a restaurant, something that you just have to drink in the summer, this is this is a great. Then I use uh, the juice of half of a small lime. So we'll squeeze that in there. So, whoops, two quarter sections here. I'm making a mess already. Okay, so that's half a line. And then we're going to do about three-fourths of an ounce of simple syrup. So just a standard standard margarita recipe that you can get off the internet. Nothing fancy here. I'm going to shake it really good. And you can salt the, the rim of the glass if you want to. And for this one, I'm not going to. I'm just going to do with no salt. Oh, there are times when we need a little salt. So this mixes up really nice looking margarita. Let me tell you, that <laughs> ritual product shines in a margarita. This tastes to me, this tastes to me better than some of the margaritas that I ate in restaurants uh, when I was drinking. This, this to me just it tastes like a margarita. It tastes like a good, you know, good standard um, house margarita, um, which I like. I always like those. <laughs> That's probably why I'm partial to this thing and why I like drinking this. The heat really, the the, the peppery heat that this has, which is oh, is just as I mentioned earlier, is almost overbearing in the product by itself. Shines really through in here. You get that 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 tequila smell. Um, you get the nice nice um, light orange out of the triple sec. 
the limes in there. It just really blends together real, and this thing pops. And this is a great product for margarita. I give this a four and a half. Um, it, to be used as it's supposed to be used. Straight, I'm not even going to rate it. Uh, but when you use it the way it's supposed to be used in a cocktail, especially in a margarita, this is a solid four and a half product. Uh, I love this one, and, and I've drank a lot of these, and I will continue now that it's starting to get warm. Out by the pool, we'll be having margaritas. Uh, the folks that are here will be having standard margaritas, and I'm going to be having a ritual to kill alternative margarita because this is just really good stuff. So from the bar sober barkeep, live well and drink smart.